Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about lunchtime February 2020, of course, chef. Okay, so this is the question at the gates. So, what the question is, there is a table in front of you with n coins placed in a row and numbered 1 through n from left to right. For each coin, you know whether it is initially showing heads or tails. Okay, so you have to perform k operations. So we have coins and initially know where, what they are showing. So it is head, tails, head, tails, any sequence of head and tails. We have to perform K operations. In one operation, we should choose the rightmost coin. We should choose the rightmost coin, okay, present on the table. And if the coin was showing heads right before it was removed, then you should also flip all the remaining coins. So if it is head, we should flip these coins. So is it head? No, just simply remove it. Now, is this head? Yes. So the remaining coins flip them so h will become t and t will become h and remove this coin okay so we have to perform like this k search operations okay now after performing k sub operations whatever the coins are remaining in those coins how many h are there that we need to find out in this particular question okay so in this we have a test case then n and k value and then the sequence of h and t's so the constraints are t equals to 200, k is less than n, and n is less than equal to 100. So n here represents the length of the array, okay, size of the array. So it is nothing but just 100, and t is nothing but just 200, okay. And even if we go n square, so it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, multiplied by 200. So it is still inside the range of 10 to power 8. So it is still one second. Okay, so we can easily go till n square in this particular question. The brute force method for this particular question will be accepted. Okay, we are going to discuss another method of order of n also, but the brute force will be accepted. And what is the brute force method for this particular question? It's very simple. Just do whatever it is written in this line. Okay, just do whatever it is written here. Or perform the key operations. Perform all the operations inside the code. Okay, for example, if you are going to perform the operations, what they will look like? So let's take a second one. So it is H, H, T, 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 H, H. What is this saying? K value is 4. K value is 4. So we need to perform 4 operations. In the first one, just select the last element. Okay, the rightmost element. Is it H? Yes. So flip all other elements. So let's flip it. So it is T, T, H, 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 T. Okay. Then perform this element. Perform the last. Uh, select this. The rightmost element is it h no so don't do nothing just simply remove it okay so here it is then perform the last just check the last one the rightmost is it h yes so flip h h t t okay remove it now how many three operations are done so just select this is it t yes so no need to do anything so it will remain h h t so this h h t is the final one we got and in this h h t how many h are there just count it out print it and that is the answer fine so he in this particular question this is the brute force method okay just directly do whatever it is written in this one let me just show you the pseudo code for this and then we'll move on to an order of an approach fine so let's see the pseudo code now so in this take all the inputs now from i equals to n minus 1 and n value is 7 n minus 1 will be 6 okay to greater than equal to n minus k so n minus k means 7 minus 4 7 minus 4 nothing but 3 so we will go to this point that is we will do four operations on four elements we will perform the operations one two three and four last four elements okay now if it is h if the element is right here is h okay so from zero to less than this element from zero to less than this element flip from zero to less than the element we are currently having flip so if it is h we will convert into t if it is t we will convert into h okay so this line flip now after this loop is over okay so this means all the four operations have been performed so from 0 to less than n minus k from 0 to less than n minus k so from 0 till here okay just count how many h are there and simply print it so a simple direct pseudo code for this particular question and it's direct implementation and it will be accepted because of the small constraints now let's see an order of an approach in in that approach what uh here what is the thing that is increasing the complexity so it is nothing but this particular line this particular loop of converting each and every time this particular loop of converting each and every time so if this loop can be reduced we will have order of an approach okay if there is no need to convert each and every time we can observe few things and with and with the help of those observations we will simply directly write the answer without converting uh, each and every 
h into t and t into h okay so let's see that approach now so let's perform in these examples the same points that we have discussed till now and let's observe few things okay so if it is h if this one is h this all will be flipped correct so in the code we do not have to flip in the code we have to skip flipping fine without flipping we have to find the answer so but here let's flip to get that what you say the observation okay now if it is t we do not have to flip okay let's say all these have three the k value is three we have to perform three operations fine so if it is t we do not have to flip fine now if it is h we do need to flip if it is h we do not to flip so it will become hht fine so let's move forward now so it is h here correct so that means we need to flip so it is t t h h and h fine then it is h here so we do need to flip so it will become h h t t okay now since it is t here we do not have to flip now so it will remain h h t so if it is h t so right now here yeah, should we flip yes last is h so we should flip so it is t h h t h correct now it is h so flip so it is h t t h correct it is h so flip so it is t h h fine and right here it is nothing about t t t t t okay and after this just do anything so it will remain t t t okay so what uh, kind of observations can we make from these so h h t and here also it was h h t so it is same okay h h t and here also it was h h t so it is same fine it is t h h and here it was h t t so that means uh, there is a flip there is a complete flip and here it is h h h and here it is t t t so that means there is a complete flip okay so in these two cases uh, there was no flipping but in these two cases there was a complete flip okay h became t and t became h fine so like this you have to take more examples okay just take more examples i'm just going to tell you what is the observation that i've made after taking more examples okay so in this one if the kth that is the nothing but the third operating element is t okay so this is nothing but t this is nothing but t okay so if it is t then we do not have to flip if it is t then we do not have to do anything the answer will remain the same as it was there without any without any flipping but if it was h okay then the answer will flip if if it was h then the answer will flip so if it is h then the answer will flip okay let's take more examples just to be clear so here it is something but h or t h t h t h t t t h and k value let's say it is 4 this time so it is 1 2 3 4 so since it is h so flip before it h t h t okay and h and count how many h are there so it is 3 h so that is the particular answer okay so if it is h then this will become so if k value was 3 then we have t here so this will not flip this will not flip and you can perform the operations and check the answer will be the same okay so after writing the examples after writing some examples and observing whether what is the observation is very simple here because the answer is matching the answer matches and if the answer does not match it is exactly opposite if the answer does not match it is exactly flipped okay therefore the observation making observation was simpler so we just check what is the n minus kth element so n minus whatever the n minus kth element is just simply if it is t then we just have to count the number of h okay we do not have to flip actually even after that we do not have to flip why so see if it is t just count the number of h and if it is h just count the number of t okay it's that simple so if it is h here just count the number of t because these t's will be coming h's okay so therefore if it is h just count the number of t and print it and if it is t just count the number of h and print it okay so that's simple so if the, this was the observation and the pseudocode is completely simple just check the n minus kth element and perform the counting purpose and that's it so this was the order of n approach okay so this was the whole question that the both the approaches of n square and order of n thank you thank you